An Australian study just came out showing that what a child eats affects their brain development and their IQ. And they did a study on 7,000 little kids between six months and two years of age, and they checked their IQ at eight years of age. So let's talk about what they found because it really reinforces the importance of providing kids with a with a healthy diet. Well, it's like a no-brainer. I mean, are you going to do better if you have better food and you have more nutrients, uh, vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids? Obviously. Well, especially at this formative time in their year. In yeah, their if you don't have them, you simply can't make what you need to. That's why diet's so important. And and what they did is 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 they looked at some of the things that were important in, in kids' diets. They looked at different kinds of things. They fed them, they compared them with people who were breastfeeding and who people who were cooking meals at home and people who were using prepared baby foods and those who were using junk foods. And, and there was really, a difference. Yeah, and there's really no surprise that there would be a difference. No, when they looked at the the IQ difference of those kids that were eating the, the good diet after they were breastfed, their IQ points were about two points higher. And they looked at the kids that had junk food and their IQ points were two point lower. So there's a four point spread there, which is not a small thing. I mean, four IQ points is very meaningful. Well, one thing that's not new that, that we've talked about before is the importance of essential fatty acids in the brain because that really does help with the development of a healthy brain. Well, think of it this way. There's 60% of the brain is made of what? Fat. And the essential fatty acids are the best fats to have there. So if somebody calls you a fat well, yeah, head, it's a it compliment. It might be good. If it's trans fat, it's not. It's not good. They call you a trans fat head, that's bad. Well, so how much percentage of breast milk is fat? About 60%, again. So it's not some kind of accident. You know, we've got this fat phobia in this country, and it's, it's not true. Unless you're talking about unhealthy fats, of which, of course, most things that we buy in the supermarket are unhealthy uh, vegetable oils that have been processed and treated in ways that make them not really fit for human consumption. So again, it's really important to start your kids out with a healthy diet and do it as long as you possibly can because like we've said so many times before, once they go to school, things change a bit because they have the influence and pressure of their friends and they want to sure. eat more of the junk type foods. So at least have healthy foods in the home. I can remember when our oldest granddaughter was, was little and I took her trick-or-treating on Halloween <laughs> and we used to not give her any candy and sweets and stuff, but I thought it would be fun just to take her out and dress her up and sure. everything. We, when we went with the neighbor boy boy and his mom and when we go to the stores and the, to the houses and they would ask her they would you know go trick-or-treat and the people come with all their candy and she'd tell them she didn't want it <laughs> and they would look she so, was brainwashed they would, look this, so, yeah. they would look so disappointed and they're so, well can we get you an apple or an orange or yeah. can we give you a little gift well and, she got over that she went to school <laughs> and at school of course what happens is they reward them for their good behavior by giving them what candy and, su and sweets and, and on things birthday parties that aren't and really, so there's a lot of cakes and cookies and things like that what you really have to keep in mind vicky is that most of the of the if we don't get the, the nutrients that we need we simply can't make the products we need so we have to have the raw materials that make our cells able to make energy to be able to restore the body and to keep it fit or, and able to do the work that it does so we know that that's not happening because you look at the at the Haynes studies. There have been studies done by the U.S. Department of Agriculture on several different occasions on tens of thousands of people, and they show that there are many, many de nutritional deficiencies that are existing in the normal American diet. You're talking, Vicki, about essential fatty acids and things like folic acid and iron are absolutely essential for pregnant women to be consuming because otherwise the baby simply doesn't get them. And when they're developing as they are at such a rapid pace, if you don't put those essential nutrients in there, the child's simply not going to have the same IQ or the same capacity to be able to do things later in life. So we should be staying away from the junk foods. And if you want to reward your child with something and it happens to be food, which that's another topic because that can lead to obesity and everything Lots else if you reward with food. But anyway, when, you're, when it's a birthday party or something, maybe just 
stretch yourself and try to think of other ideas, you know, like right. a strawberry is t- so good. Yeah. I mean, that should be like a dessert for a child. Or a papaya or something that's yeah. sweet that way. It's a healthy way to do it because when you take in sugar, fructose, uh, and things that Mother Nature makes, yes, she puts the poison in there, which is the high fructose corn syrup or, or just the fructose, but she also puts the antidote in, which is all the other things the in there, like the fiber. So... so Kids uh, and what they eat, it makes a big difference. It does affect their IQ, and it affects a lot of other things that have to do with normal development. So see that your kids are breastfed if you can, and home-cooked if you can, and if you do, they're going to do better in the rest of their life because they're going to be a little smarter and have a little bit more capacity. 